How's it going guys? It's uh, Ryan Lucchese, the WPT Deep Stacks Beer Ambassador, and today we're here at Goat House Brewing, which you can see right behind me here is, in fact, in a barn, on a farm, and I tr promise you there are goats. Uh, and beers, of course. So uh, we've also brought a few friends from Thunder Valley. We have uh, Neil and Casey here. They're gonna join us and we're gonna taste some beers. Let's go check it out. Give us a, a tour of the, the brewery here. Well, this is, uh, this is our brewery set up here. It's a 10 barrel brew system. Uh, we have three fermenters over there to the left-hand side. So this is where we make the beer. Uh, this is where we boil it and add all the hops. It goes over to the fermenters for fermentation. And then uh, after fermentation, we transfer it uh, into these guys. There's a couple of tanks in there called Bright Tanks, where we condition the beer, uh, carbonate the beer. Uh, what beers are you guys currently making right now? Oh, right now, uh, they change all the time, uh, being that we're super seasonal. Uh, so right now, we usually have about uh, 10 to 13 beers on tap. Uh, they range anywhere from you know lighter blondes to big dark Belgians and excited, everything else in between. I mean, rarely do you find a brewery that's on a farm, and you guys are all about farm to tap. So, how much does the the growing seasons and you know the just the different crops affect what beers you're making at the time? Yeah, well, I mean, we're truly farm to tap. So, we're pretty much the only one of the only breweries in the state of California where we grow and brew beer at the same site. Um, so, we grow 85% of our hops here. Uh, we have a hop field out back, uh, right. so it's pretty unique that we actually get to like you know grow hops and then uh, make beer right here on site. So. Yeah. How many different uh, hop varieties do you guys? Uh, in total, we have probably over 20, which is quite a bit. Um, when we first started, we, we didn't know what would grow out here. Gotcha. And so we just kind of grabbed whatever we can get our hands on. And uh, now, now that we're over six years, we kind of know what does well, what doesn't yeah. do well. And so we kind of focus on the varieties that do well for real. They all have unique personalities. Uh, yeah, they're quirky animals for sure. Oh, hi. You're right at my face. <laughs> so, uh, we have a selection of beers here. Um, starting on my left, your right. Uh, this is Honey Baby. That's our honey ale. Uh, we have about 100 beehives out back, which we uh, harvest their honey and make beers or sodas out of. Um, so it's, uh, the honey ferments out. People think it's gonna be really um, sweet, but it, uh, it ferments out, so it's actually more on the dry side. So you're seeing a lot of the East Coast here, and probably West Coast are probably heading back that way too. Uh, next to that is Mouth Hug. That is uh, one of our fresh hop IPAs. So being that we grow all our own hops uh, here on the farm, we get to actually pick hops within 10, 15 minutes, bring them into the brewery and make a fresh hop beer. So the hops are still green, they're fresh. Um, it's kind of akin to like, um, fresh basil versus dried basil. So you get more of that grassiness. It's definitely not as bitter. Um, you get more of that kind of just the delicate hot flavor as opposed to the bitterness. And then on the end here is Dark Side. Uh, that's one of the beers that stays up here pretty much all year round. Um, it's kind of roasty. It's not too, um, not too acrid like most stouts are. Um, it's just been one of our staples for forever. Um, it's finished with some fresh vanilla bean. And so it's definitely a crowd favorite uh, here at Goza. We opened our doors back in 2013. Um, I think at the time, in the Sacramento area, which includes us, um, there's maybe 12 breweries total. And now I think they're cutting close to 80. We've held true, we haven't changed anything that we've started out doing. Uh, we're trying to just do everything we do uh, more efficiently. Um, you know, growing hops and just you know, educating people and making great craft beer. We finished our tour of Goat House Brewing Company. Michael showed us around the farm and the brewery. We had some taster flights and we had a really good time here. Neil and Casey are going to keep the fun going and tour some wineries, but the rest of the WPT Deep Sacks crew is going to go back to Thunder Valley Casino. Check out WPT.com okay. for more information. <laughs> Cheers. You put them in jammies? Have you uh, seen the goats no, in jammies? I don't, no, I don't. <laughs> we got to draw the line somewhere. Come on! <laughs> no, you don't. For nonstop poker action at home or on the go, sign up today at clubwpt.com. Well, you'll never lose a dime playing poker, guaranteed.